71 it was blocking the number three lane uh, but it does look like they may have just moved it off the freeway either way though you can see it is moving pretty slowly on this portion uh, I'll say Rachel I'll send it back to you Okay, Brianna, thanks. Today, so it's hard for me to watch any of this, uh, any space video at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I'm, nice. trying to, I'm trying to get up to speed for the new Alien movie. But yeah. That's just what that made me yeah. think of. Talk to the astronauts about yeah, it. Really yeah, really incredible to see those uh, real images, though. Uh, hey, good morning. We have about 67 degrees over to in Nevada. It's going to get a little It's still going to be pretty warm, but the big drop comes tomorrow. So... Our high pressure is still out to the east of us. It's still over some of the southern states. A little too far east to be bringing us any monsoonal potential. There's a slight possibility to bring it to San Diego because it's just right on the edge of that clockwise rotation for the high pressure. And so you see it kind of just missing uh, right over our, our region here. For monsoonal so weather. It looks like until about next Tuesday or Wednesday. It's All eyes happen. are on this low pressure system. As we head into Thursday, it's really going to begin to drop down the west coast, and that will start to bring us a dramatic in, uh, decrease in temperatures. A very rare, cool low pressure for this time of year, too, where it's going to feel kind of fall-like for a couple days. Then as we head into the weekend, it's just going to swing over Oregon and then just the end of it right over the northernmost area of California as we head into your Friday and Saturday. And then it moves on out of here by next week, and we will start to get hot again. But that's why we're going to stay on that much cooler LA side for quite OC, a few days. 70s. We can also expect more marine layer clouds as well as we head into the next few mornings. Then next week, back to hot temperatures, 90 by Tuesday. Overnight lows in some the 30s. Some northeast should be a really lovely, beautiful weekend up in the mountains. From the heat for the Antelope Valley with some mid-80s Friday, Saturday. Palm Springs getting down to about 100 degrees, so that's their cool down. Still going to stay pretty hot. Next week, we do get warmer, we get hot, and then a 10% shot of monsoonal weather coming back on Tuesday. Leslie, Tony, I'll send it back to you. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Brianna.